Hey bunnies, welcome to another Naked Sunday video. If you are listening on your favorite podcast listening app, welcome to another Naked Sunday, the podcast. Before we begin, go ahead and grab yourself a drink. What I'm drinking is vodka soda, just vodka and a little bit of ginger ale and some ice to keep it chill and so that I'm not slurring my words as I'm going through this video. So pause this if you need to, grab your drink, come back, and let's talk. So refreshing. I'm okay, hanging there. All right, so for today's video, I'm actually kind of excited about this video because I'm a strong believer in the love languages and loving your partner based on their love language and not yours or loving yourself based on your love language okay now for this episode it's going to be sex and the five love languages this is how you are going to have the most fulfilling sex like the best sex ever so i want to start with my number one love language which is physical touch now it seems obvious right having sex physical touch being the number one love language it seems and i say seems in quotes it seems obvious that just the act itself is enough to elevate or to feel good or for the person to fall in love or whatever but it's actually a little bit more than that for me let's say for example i'm giving you a bj right i want depending on the position we're in for you to grab my ass or if you're you know in front of me obviously you're in front of me <laughs> but let's say you're standing you grab my neck or you you know move my hair out of the way you hold my head i actually enjoy these things knowing that you are physically involved even though it is a physical aspect if that makes sense it it just heightens and elevates and lets me know that you're enjoying what's happening as much as i am enjoying what's happening right it adds that extra layer of comfort for me right if we're actually in the act we're having intercourse again touching caressing kissing it it adds that extra layer that's what turns a girl like me into a yamen <laughs> why i won't leave certain situations because certain things are being done that taps into the way that i like to be loved okay so that is physical touch after physical touch we're going to go into words of affirmation which is actually my number two words of affirmation would be like talking through intercourse and it would be oh you're so beautiful oh you're doing it so well oh you're taking it so good oh you're so big oh you're so tight oh you're so what like talking oh you're such a good girl oh yes dead. like you know how some people just want it to be dead silence I want to hear everything oh you want me to do this or oh, you like when I do that oh you're about to oh yeah come from it it's that the talking through it if your love language <laughs> is words of affirmation is that what I just said yes words of, you see this is why I stopped drinking when I film because I get so flustered yes words of affirmation it's it literally it's just the words that you say and making your partner feel good hearing the things and you would get as explicit as you want to because you know your partner you know what they're into you know what they're like what they like so get as candid or as descriptive or as vulgar as you want when it comes to that love language and that's where those what where those 
girl words of affirmation so the next one is going to be acts of service acts of service is so what I <laughs> <laughs> all right so acts of service would be spontaneous head or or it's surprising them with a third or or them waking up to you in something that you know would absolutely blow their mind it's you going out of your way to do something for your partner right so let's say you two are in the kitchen you drop to your knees you drop their pants and then you start going to tell them that is a great act of service let's say you just got home from work and then you go to your room and boom you're person your partner is there with another person waiting for you to join acts of service <laughs> um they did something grand for you right and maybe they're not expecting anything in return but then again you know in the back of their mind the appreciation would be appreciated so you do something that you would not usually have done for them or if you usually do it you haven't done it in a while right that's where the acts of service is going to come into play um let's say you wore crotchless panties one day and you're you know about to start and then they notice it and it's like oh my gosh you know because yeah crotchless underwear does things for people i don't know i don't know and different people have their different kinks and their different likes you have to know what it is that your person likes and what they dislike and what they'll appreciate and what they won't appreciate but if acts of service is their thing then that's what it's going to be for them the next love language is receiving gifts this one is going to be okay <laughs> receiving gifts this one is going to be like i'm going to to put out their toys handcuffs food <laughs> all of these extra devices that you would bring in to your bedroom into your love making into your sessions right gift giving it's going to be always something new something fun something exciting something that they've either talked about but never tried something because I'm assuming that you two are having conversations about sex on the regular if not every day then maybe every other day twice a week something but the conversation it happens more often than not and you two discuss the things that you have done haven't done want to do things that you haven't done in a while and want to bring back into the relationship gift giving is going to be you doing the things that they enjoy but with a ribbon attached it does that am i making sense to you am i making sense it's this one is very much literal and on the nose when it comes to receiving gifts okay so it's not necessarily a physical act that you're doing to the person but it is bringing something new to the experience that sounded smart that sounded very very smart so this last one is basically the easiest one and it's quality time this one is so easy it's like the basic bitch of all love languages when it comes to sex so with quality time it's basically just focusing your attention on the person like you're not distracted you're not bored you're not texting <laughs> while the activities are being had like you are so in tune with the person you're you're one-on-one -on -one. it's just the two of you locked in there is no third person there are no toys it's just the two of you 
missionary doggy the very basic positions can work for this this person does not necessarily while they sure they would appreciate you know the grandiose extras of the world their main thing is just being with you and connecting with you and getting they're not basically <laughs> This is not to be confused with the selfish lovers out there because while there are many, even with all the love languages out there, while there are many, if your lover is a selfish lover, please be picky. Please be mindful. Please make sure that you are at least satisfied at the end of the day, okay? This quality time lover may also not be the one who wants back to back to back to back rounds right they just want that one like that one and done is enough for them but then again that is low-key the selfish lover because if quality time is your love language then you do probably want to go rounds and rounds and rounds with just you two right right so let's not let's not try to conflict the two let's not try to mesh the two let's not try to bring a selfish lover with a quality time lover okay but yes the quality time lover is the basic bitch of all signs like that one is the one where it's the easiest especially if you are also a quality time lover if your love language is also quality time you will enjoy this okay okay now please based on this video based on this podcast episode we should be able to now deduce if you did not already know that everybody is different everybody's love language is different and while it's important to love your person in their love language it's also important that they recognize what yours is there are many many attests online that you can take to decipher what your love language is it should also be easy to identify if you've been with your person for quite some time right you should be able to Pay attention to the cues that they give off in everyday conversations and happenings and actions and the things that they do and say, right? But if you aren't in tune with that, go ahead, take a test and figure out what your partner's love language is. Once you've done that, I promise you everything gets easier every single thing gets easier because you will either love them how they want to be loved love yourself how you want to be loved teach them how to love you how you want to be loved and if all of that is too hard you can move on to someone else because like i said last week we don't own each other right nobody belongs to each other except if me and you name your day and that's it that's all i say about that but <laughs> we don't own each other if you choose to go on and move on and be free and be with somebody else somebody else if you feel like i'm not loving you the way that you should be loved and i am refusing to learn or i cannot learn or you are not being served in this relationship feel free to move on because if i love you the way i say that i love you i want you to be happy no matter what i want you to be happy in your relationship in your situationship in your whatever because i also believe that outside of me it's very stiff composition but i wish you very well <laughs> Knowing your partner's love language, not only in the physical sense of 
you two having sex it will also help to make whatever it is that you're doing that much better let's say you're giving head because for whatever reason you guys are obsessed with me talking about giving head right right <laughs> so let's say you're giving head knowing your partner's love language will help you to improve that particular aspect right especially in the beginning stages as you go on because everybody's preferences are different everybody likes different things when it comes to oral sex right so knowing the love language is literally only the base is only the groundwork when it comes to giving good head right so if it's physical touch and you're giving your girl head throw in some fingers in there okay make it sensual you're grabbing her from the back these are peaches in my hands right now and you are burying yourself in her okay but all at the same time touching and caressing and finger it and it's the same thing with giving a blowjob for me I'm going to be touching everything rubbing everything caressing everything my hands are definitely in play when it comes to giving head and that is because physical touch is my love language so I am going to want to be very touchy feely right but that is me. Now, if my partner's love language isn't physical touch, that might be too much for them. That might be an over something another, off sensory some things, and this is again why I stopped drinking it. <laughs> but <laughs> if it is physical touch, that's what that is. Again, if it's like acts of service, then surprising them with it is going to be the bonus there like in the most random of places let's say we're driving to the movies and you whip it out and acts of service because really and truly you don't have to do it but the fact that you think that i would enjoy it or you know that i would enjoy it you're doing it love that that's an act of service in the most literal sense okay <laughs> if it's quality time again this is the basic est of the basic ones you cannot mess up with quality time because all they want is your undivided attention that's all they want like no other toys no and i'm not saying they're opposed to toys draw bricks right this so not saying they're opposed to toys not saying they're opposed to threesomes not saying they're opposed to having a poly relationship not saying they're opposed to any of the kinks out there in the world and the things that you may enjoy what i'm saying is they love right they like all these other things but they love when it's one-on-one, -on -one, the two of you connecting, being intimate. And you, there is no way to mess that up. If you mess that up, it's because you're not loving them in their love language, basically. <laughs> All right. Um, do I have a story that I can tell you? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I kind of do have a story. Okay, so this one time at band camp, <laughs> I'm so giggly. I'm sorry. So for me, right? I've said this on more than one occasion. I'm very much a penetration girl. I love a nice, thick, 
girthy tool, right? <laughs> but there are a few times where receiving head is just it's like waterfalls, right? Once upon a time. While I was deep in slumber, I was woken up by head. And if your love language is acts of service, this would appeal to you. Now remember, mine is physical touch. So while I was like low key annoyed that I was woken out of sleep, <laughs> what was happening, the way that I was being woken up, was very much pleasing, was very much tender, was very much loving, right? Now, while that's good and dandy, what made it extra special, because yes, again, physical touch is my number one, but right next to it, the same amount of points is words of affirmation. So again, while I woke up annoyed, why are you waking me up? Realizing what was happening after like a few seconds, okay this is nice it turned into you don't want me to eat your pussy <laughs> listen to me listen to me <clears throat> i love a very assertive i don't want to use the word aggressive i love an assertive nature you know what you want and you go for it I love the confidence with a little bit of nonchalance and just a little touch a little touch of it because at the end of the day I want to shallant about me okay <laughs> I want very much all the shallants so <laughs> that to me was just peak performance because when I say that person made sure that I climaxed multiple orgasms running dripping smothering their face I was like babes you're going to die but did I care a little bit just a little bit I was like no I have to get up a little bit ease up because you know I'm thick right right <laughs> <laughs> so that was very 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 much a happy experience on my part when it came to loving me in my love language because I was being physically pleased right they were touching fingering caressing doing all the right things at all the right points right and then the words of affirmation came in when the question was asked and then it just 10 out of 10 would recommend that you do that for your partner okay so now we're going to wrap this up we have spoken long enough if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're listening on your favorite listening app, come back next week. There will be another drop, another release, another episode. I don't even know how to do this. Oh gosh. But yeah, yeah, girl. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening. I see the downloads. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you for loving. Until next time. Peace sign. And kissy face. Bye. Let me finish this drink. It's like only a little soupy. It's only a swallow left. <laughs>